Okay, what we have here is a air pump motor, supposed to pump 5 to 6 PSI. It's out of a hurricane heating system, but it's a Thomas. Now, you can find these from 259 to 450 some dollars. All right, it's just got a red lead, which is your positive, negative. The control board makes this pump, and this goes to your uh, fuel nozzle assembly and a zero pressure regulator, which we'll get into that later. But what this wasn't doing was pumping air, and my flame was going boof, 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 like that. So I'm going to show you something real quick. Ready? There it was. Hold on. We'll put it down real quick. There you go. This is the intake. That's the exhaust. It even says in and out on it. The air is coming out of here. Right. It's not coming out of here. Look. Zero PSI. There's your PSI. Right. It's on the outer. Put this check valve right here, the back of the check valve. Here's the part number. Item A455 from Industrial Specialty Manufacturers. Alright, the telephone number I messed up at 303 781 8486. Okay, and of course it's at www.industrialspec.com. Show you what happens. I put it in. Right. You hear the pump loading up different. Look at that. We have at six psi. Let's see if we get a good reading on this. Oh, blew it out. Okay. We have about five to six psi. Which is Back. Zero, five, ten. This is a compound gauge vacuum on this side and pressure on this side is up to 15 psi. So this side, there's two little check valves inside here that blew up. Well, you can buy this for, I don't know, five or six bucks. And if this side goes, you would put this one in. This is a little bit more expensive one. Notice the arrow goes that way, so that would be out. Use a vacuum check valve on this side, hence the black and the white. We used to use them back in the auto industry. So I'm going to take this apart for you and show you. Okay. Remember, I was telling you about the uh, actual check valves here. You see it? There should be a rubber disc there, like there is here. That's the out, this is the end. So it's constantly, once it builds pressure, this little diaphragm goes up and down. Do -do 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 -do. Not much. And it pushes back on this one, but it pushes this one closed. Well, it can't close, so it pushes the air right back out on the suction side or the intake side. This is the output. So, yes, uh, some of these motors you can get rebuilt kits for, this and all, but this model you can't, most of them you can't. Um, but the motor is anywhere from 259 to $500. Okay, so nothing really wrong with the motor. Remember, you'll see your uh, flame inside going woo, 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 and it'll build up carbon. All right, and we'll get into the zero pressure regulator later, but what I'm just trying to show you is this simple little valve, probably $5, um, and you hook it into here because this is where the filter is. So you put this as close as you can to the diaphragm input, and that makes this pump work again for five or six bucks so you're out on your own out in the middle of nowhere in your hydronic heater system hurricane um, it's not like the aqua hot or hydro hot that uses ungodly fuel pressure and we all know that leaks all over the place but uh, I favor the hurricane heating system it's a much more fuel efficient um, it doesn't draw as many amps, so your your battery lasts longer in case something happens. And hydronic heating is basically where you have continuous hot water and a little diesel burner comes on. So this is the air pump to the diesel burner. 
Uh, thank you. Hopefully it's made a little bit of sense to you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. This is for the people that have hurricane heating systems in their RV. Oh, man. 